Hello, well today I want to give you a quick tour of the Premi app, what it's for and how to use it. So Premi is an app designed first and foremost to help you with your regular daily intercessions for other people. Um, it's centered around the idea of lists, uh, which is this button up here, lists. Uh, and you can think of lists essentially as like different areas of responsibility in your life. Um, I like to think of them as concentric circles, so starting uh, closest to myself, my own walk with God, um, then those near me, my family, my church, uh, and then sort of outwards to the wider world. Uh, we give you this set of default built-in lists, but you can easily add your own uh, here using the add a list button. Um, we give you some more suggestions or you can just press the button to type a new list. Let's create a, a new list. Uh, we'll just call it uh, My Neighbours for now. There you go. Um, so it starts off blank, nothing on it. Uh, down here though there's an Add to List button. Um, now you can either um, add things just by typing uh, or there's some other options which we'll come back to. But I'm just going to start by adding one of my neighbours. So let's start with Bryony type that in. Um, I'm going to just create a new subject, Bryony. So a, a subject is something to pray for basically. Um, there you go, subject created. So I could either uh, keep adding with that button there, but I'm just going to go view it now. So it's created it blank. Um, one thing that I find really helpful is to add a photo to people. Um, so I'm going to tap this button at the top and I'm going to say I want to select a photo from my device. I'm going to have to give permissions uh, and uh, let's pick a picture. Let's assume this is Bryony. Um, you can sort of crop it a little bit by um, you can sort of squeeze to zoom or you can uh, you know, move it around but I'm, I think it's pretty much right as it is. So let's press this done button down here. Um, so now when I look at Bryony there's a lovely photo to help me pray. Um, uh, so that's the sort of basic subject page but then it's a little bit uninspiring still at the moment I'm going to add some specific things to pray and I'm going to use this add item button down here um, and I can either add a new card if I want to just sort of type my own uh, sort of suggestions of how to pray you can add event reminders let's say if someone has an interview or a hospital appointment uh, you can pick a date and a time and it will remind you um, uh, or I can download a prayer pack which is suggestions of how to pray similarly download some scriptural prayers and promises um, or if I had something like a, a prayer letter or an email as a PDF I could attach that um, I'm going to start by create, downloading a, a prayer pack because I think these are really helpful um, we've got lots of different categories uh, but let's assume my neighbour Bryony is not a Christian so I'm going to go for evangelism over here uh, we've got some really helpful prayers here, like 11 prayers, uh, 11 prayers for your friends to know Christ by InterVarsity. Um, you can have a little sort of preview of them by scrolling through, or down here at the bottom right is a button to download. So let's press that. It says prayer pack added. So when I go back, now here's Bryony's. Uh, page and it says 11 prayers for your friends in Christ and, and you can cycle through them but basically every time I pray for Brian it will give me a different one uh, on the pack so that's prayer packs uh, let's also um, add something myself I'm going to add a, a, a card I'm just going to type pray for opportunities to share the gospel So there's, there's uh, something that you know, I've added myself. Um, if I go back to my list, I'm going to find one on my other list, my family. Um, I've already got someone here called Elizabeth. I'm going to add some more. I'm going to press add to list again. And this time, instead of typing them one by one, I'm going to scroll down to where it says enter a list of names. Uh, and here I can sort of type a few at a time. So let's add Melissa. Let's add Bob. I'm going to press add names. So it's added them both. 
there are also other helpful ways like uh, I can hear see, see your contacts I'm happy for it to, to see my contacts it, we won't upload any of these uh, to our servers or anything it's all sort of secure yeah if I press import contacts I can then pick a few specific names and it will just create them there and then something else that can be really helpful is uh, prayer feeds so if I just go to this world mission list here's an example one from open doors it gives you a different uh, country to pray for every day um, uh, we've got hundreds of organizations available to pray for so let's pray say add to lists again and this time I'm going to go to download content um, and uh, there's a few suggestions there we've got some uh, different kind of categories here's the persecuted church who uh, have lots of feeds or um, again there's some suggested prayer packs how to pray for missionaries um, but uh, yeah there's there's a whole load here to, to pray for or you can browse all the different categories at, at the bottom um, let's go for operation world operation will give you a different country to pray for every day uh, I'm going to hit subscribe here down the bottom right so I'm now subscribed to, uh, to this feed I can press this button to open subject and that'll just show me the uh, the prayer point for today January 26th there you go um, and I do encourage you to check out uh, those feeds we've got a really wide range and they can be really really helpful for broadening your prayer horizons So there we go, now I've started to sort of made a good start setting up my lists. Um, so now I'm going to go back here. Uh, the other main kind of mode of using Prayer Mate is really just to get on and pray. So um, Prayer Mate incorporates a concept we call prayer sessions. Um, and this is really the heart of, of the Prayer Mate app, one of the things that makes it most distinctive. Um, so I'm going to press start praying. Um, so I've got all sorts of things I could pray for. I've added 10 different things now. Um, but each day it gives me a selection to pray through. Here it's chosen five, although I can press these uh, plus and minus buttons if I want to, to change that and pray for more or less. But, you know, five is a good number for now. Um, and what it will do is it will try and pick a range of items from across my list. So here I've got the Lord's Prayer from Biblical Prayers. Uh, something for my walk with God here. I've got a family member, Elizabeth. I've got a world mission feed uh, and one of my neighbours. And then uh, as I want to pray, I'll just swipe through them from left to right. Um, here's the Lord's Prayer. Uh, here's something to help me with uh, my walk with God, growing more like Jesus. And every time I swipe past something, it will record it as prayed for um, so that next time it can give me something else to pray for. So, yeah, just go through one by one and pray. Uh, as I say, these prayer packs, every time a subject appears in a prayer session, it will rotate the, these different stacks and give me the next item to pray for. Um, and uh, when I've reached the end here, there's a, a short sort of doxology from Philippians. Um, and then I can just say, finish praying when I'm done. Uh, there you go all the items are prayed for so uh, it will kind of keep the prayer sessions active uh, all day long if I want to review that session and pray through those same items again or anytime I can say start a new session um, and that will automatically happen at midnight each day as well um, so here's a new prayer session it's, it's giving me a different uh, biblical prayer this time a different family member a different world mission feed um, and uh, yeah, I can just pray through again. Over time, it will help you get through everything. So you you can have uh, lots of things on your lists, uh, but without sort of without feeling overwhelmed about how I'm going to pray for, through them all. So that's there's uh, that's sort of a, a quick introduction to the most basic functionality: uh, lists, subjects, cards. Um, we've also got a few other features you might find helpful. So if we go up here to this uh, settings page up here. Um, you'll find a few settings here you can um, tweak some of the kind of 
color and display settings. So we've got different color schemes, um, a few sort of options there. Um, and under text formatting here, you can just you can change the font size if that's helpful for you, uh, or, or the font in fact. Um, uh, we also have um, uh, a feature to manage reminders. Um, so these can be really helpful if you just need a bit of help, sort of actually remembering to pray and establishing a pattern. You can add a reminder to pray. So uh, you know, if you go for seven thirty each day. 7.30 a.m. Press OK. Um, so at 7.30 each day, I'll get a little prompt saying, time to pray. Uh, and that can be really helpful. Or if you want to get rid of that, just press this X button here. Um, we also do offer some more um, advanced scheduling options if you want a little bit more control over what appears in your prayer sessions. So I personally find it really helpful to to make sure that I always get at least one kind of biblical prayer, at least one prayer for a family member. Um, so if we go to our, our lists up here, let's say find my family, and I'm going to just tap this button in the top right uh, to bring up some settings. Um, and I'm going to open up scheduling options and here you can just enable this setting to always pray for this list and I can pick how many I want, how I want at least one family member every day when you've only got a small number of lists that doesn't really make much difference but as your number of lists and your number of subjects starts to grow uh, you might want to just prioritize a few key lists and I, I recommend not overdoing it like if you enable that on too many lists uh, you reduce the number of sort of options that prayer mate has itself to, to help you. Um, if you ever find that you can't change the number of items in a prayer session, you might find it's because you've ticked this setting on so many lists that there just there is no uh, flexibility in how many uh, in how big your prayer session is. Um, similarly on the subjects themselves, uh, if I could tap into Elizabeth here, there's a similar menu in the top right. Um, and again under scheduling options uh, you can change things like the priority so if you want things to come up more often than other subjects you could pick high priority or if you want something to come up every single time uh, you can do that too I, I find that's best used sort of temporarily as a short-term measure on, on just things that are particularly important or urgent um, we also have different scheduling modes uh, some people find helpful uh, like you can limit things to only appear on certain days of the week. So let's say I want Elizabeth to only appear on Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays. I can do that. Um, it does it does sort of give it a bit of a priority boost on those days. But if you're if you absolutely want it to always appear those days of the week, then you might well want to set the priority to every time as well. So it will just always appear on the selected days. Um, and uh, I can also pick an auto archive date if that's more like if something is is just like a short term prayer item where it will cease to be relevant after a certain date. Um, yeah, then you can find that useful. On the settings page, then we also offer a, a scheduling overview now where you can just sort of see some of those custom settings. So it will show me on days of the week how I have. Yeah, one subject set Monday, Wednesday and Friday, uh, which is that Elizabeth one we just did. Another more advanced feature it's worth making you aware of is something we call groups or prayer mate share. Uh, so if I go to add a list, there's a little panel at the bottom, prayer mate share, uh, to create a private group for you and others to share prayer requests. Um, this can be uh, just a really good way of uh, basically having a shared list where you can pray for one another. Um, it's kind of first and foremost designed to be used in a church small group setting uh, but uh, we do offer the option to create a personal group as well uh, if you pay the sort of small monthly subscription um, only the person who creates the group needs to pay uh, for that uh, everyone else can join for free but the idea is you invite people to join the group everyone can uh, see everyone everyone else's prayer requests and you can update through the week update those requests through the week to, to pray for one another too. Um, some people ask how can we track answered prayers? Uh, we do offer this sort of history setting so let's I'm just going to add a card now 
um, new card, pray for Elizabeth's health. So you might start with a more general uh, prayer request. Um, if I tap in, I can use this feature here to add an update. So I'm going to do that, um, you know, pray for the hospital appointment coming up. So add. So it's moved the old card into the sort of history and, and replaced it with this new card. Um, but if I go to the history tab, I can kind of see, um, you know, I can see the full kind of history for that item. So, uh, so that can just be a, a way of keeping track of, of how situations develop over time. And um, you can obviously include, you know, items for, for praise as well as prayer there. If a particular subject uh, is something that no longer is relevant for whatever reason, I can also tap the button up here and I can archive it. Um, and that will move it off my list uh, into the archive, which you can also access up here. Uh, here's, here's my archive subjects, and it will just list it there. So I hope that's been helpful. Um, I hope the app uh, is really valuable for you to help establish those patterns of prayer uh, and to help you pray far and wide. Um, we'd love your feedback. If at any point you have any questions or suggestions, you can always tap onto the settings page uh, and there's a great big get in touch uh, option here. I'd love to just take a quick minute to introduce ourselves as a team. I'm Andy Gears, the CEO of Discipleship Tech. We're a small charity using technology to help people get to know Jesus better. And we love being able to give the Prayermate app away for free. Uh, it helps over 30,000 people every single month to pray. And collectively, Prayermate users pray for over one and a half million things per month, which just blows my mind every time I hear that. Uh, our ministry is only possible because of the support and partnership of people like yourself. Uh, so if you do get value out of the Prayermate app, we would love you to consider partnering with us financially, uh, either with a one-off donation or even better, a monthly gift. And you can find out all about how to do that on our website. We hope you find the app helpful. Please do get in touch and let us know how you get on.